So looking at this flowchart, all I can see that I've got to do left is uh, go down this path. Because, well, that's like canonically accurate with what I did here. Because if that's the case, all three people are alive at the start of this one. And then, yeah, so basically what I'm trying to get at is that I'm going to do the C-Team shower scene, I guess, is what I, I'm trying to say in the long run. Anyway, hey there guys, my name is Nix and welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. I briefly forgot the name of the game I was playing. Last time, uh, we did an escape room as C-Team and then we watched two shower... <laughs> I always feel weird calling them shower scenes, even though that's what they are, because they're scenes that take place in a shower room. Even if the threat of being melted alive was still there. Speaking of, I'm oh, that's what I'm opening with. Because fuck it, why not? This is called the decontamination room? Yeah, but there are shower heads. You're supposed to clean off after returning from the surface. Well, that was for when there was a nuclear war and the world was contaminated. Ah, uh, that explains the shower heads. Does it? Oh, just as I thought. This won't open either. The map shows an elevator hall beyond this door. If we came down the elevator normally, we'd be able to run into this room immediately, but... What about that? It's connected to the lounge. I checked it earlier, but no dice. Locked up tight. Do you think Zero trapped us in here to make us play the decision game? Oh, definitely. It's pretty obvious at this point. <laughs> I got him on the same way lens as Carlos. I think it was about 1330 when we finished voting and the drug put us to sleep. So that means we were napping like toddlers for four and a half hours. Sounds about right. Junpei, I have something I've been wanting to ask you. Why are you such an During asshole the now? Vote earlier, you told Carlos. Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. Yeah, what about it? What about? How could you be so horrible? You used to... You'd never have said that a year ago. Oh, like you're one to talk. What? What? What happened to you, Junpei? Those are eyes of a man what who is too fucking gone? tired to care. I'd like to know more about you, too. What's that, Carlos? Does that mean you're interested in me? <laughs> uh. No. My focus is my little sister. Got no time for a love life. Heh, so our hero of justice has a sister complex. Junpei? <coughs> Carlos really is worried about you. Well, it's more I want to know about you both. Weren't you friends as kids? And last year you were trapped just like this and escaped together. So why? Why the animosity, you mean? That's exactly why. Junpei. I've seen people die. Horrible, cruel deaths I never wanted to see. So many. I'm probably becoming numb. After what happened last year, I quit school and joined a detective firm. Oh man. What made you want to do that? It was all because of Akane there. She up and disappeared, so I went to a firm to try and find her. It's small, but known to work among the underground. I've snuck into places running human organ trafficking like they're trading cookies. Saw a co-worker I'd just finished eating with pushed off a rooftop the other day. Never had a by-the-books case where I just had to prove he cheated. Every job that passed my hands was dirty and dangerous. That's when I realized... Humans aren't as beautiful as I thought. I'd only been skimming the surface all this time. So every day, after work, I'd drink myself to sleep. I slept in my bathtub with the shower running. It was the only way I was able to get the scent of blood off me. But last month, finally, finally, I got intel through our network that Akane was joining this experiment. So that's why you came to DCOM. Yeah, I threatened those in charge and forced my way in. This is your fault, Akane! I mean, the reasons he's giving seem reasonable, but still? Eh, then again, I'd probably be the same way, honestly. I did notice Junpei was a kind of so, an asshole. Uh, Akane, 
How's Santa? Uh, I mean, Aoi. My brother? I heard about Ace. He's stuck in jail, if he hasn't escaped yet. Lotus is doing all right. She's working and raising her kids still. Who told you this? That detective guy, Seven. <laughs> I worked with him once. We destroyed Free the Soul's headquarters. Destroyed? Hey, uh, what's Free the Soul? They're a cult! A religious cult. Yeah, basically. <laughs> They're a freaky terrorist organization who never stop trying to create their new world. They abducted my brother and I ten years ago. And the game we played last year was related to that big kidnapping case. My brother and I were trying to track Free the Soul's movements, but... You were too, Junpei? I came across some info on them while I was working. Seven was the one still on their trail. But I kind of think we went too far by destroying their headquarters. I'm pretty sure we pissed off their boss. Uh, I think his name was Brother. So wait, you're saying this Zero the Second has something to do with him? Possibly. You know anything about it, Akane? I already told you, I'm not connected to this. I don't know why this person is calling themselves Zero. Why don't you enlighten us as to why you joined DCOM, Akane? Junpei. Someone using that name has thrown us into a similar game. No way you can ask me to believe they're unrelated. Stop it, Junpei. From what I can tell, Akane's the victim. I'm here to change the future. Huh? Free the Soul is currently attempting to implement a terrifying plan. As seen in Virtue's last reward. I think the experiment to stop that. So you knew that this game would happen? I don't know. I didn't know any specifics about all of this. But you just said it's to change the future. A very distant future. So you access the morphogenetic field and... D Hold up. What are you talking about? <laughs> a little late, perhaps. But I will now announce the voting results. Ugh, why do you have to interrupt now? All three groups have voted for different teams. Four? Despite us being an asshole. I'm sorry, but Junpei's eyes always look like they're about to roll into the back of his head. Push this button, or die, possibly. The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. What? The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall in each. Oh, that thing. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards, and they will rain down the solution. Hydrogen fluoride? It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. Explaining what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. That button on the wall is your right to freedom. Using it will cure the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X passes to escape. I have one final thing to tell you. The early bird gets the word. After the first team pushes it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. Your time limit is three minutes. What will you do? Will you press it or refuse? It is ultimately all up to you to decide. Isn't it obvious? Junpei! Wait! Let's think about this! Get out of my way, Akane. We need to push the button before the other teams do. What are you saying, Junpei? Are you really planning to sacrifice everyone else so you can escape? It's to survive. It's kill or be killed. So we need to make sure to kill them first. Junpei, one year and you've changed so much. Ah! 
Junpei! Damn you! Do you want to die? You're okay with never seeing your sister again? Maria. No way in hell I'm dying! I did not go through everything just to die today! Ugh! No! Don't, Carlos! If none of the teams push it, then it has to be like when we voted. While you're wishing on a star, we'll end up killed. Junpei! Push it, Carlos! God, even Carlos looks like he's got fucking serial killer eyes. I know it's how the 3D models are done, but, uh... Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna sit this one down, if you don't mind. Cause I'm just, um, also thinking, like, in terms of the flow diagram, I know we're placed first on the list, but I'm assuming these are all taking place at the same time. It's been three minutes. Does that mean none of the teams? It has to mean no one pushed it. Oh, that was the longest 180 seconds ever. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm nearly drowning in my own sweat. <laughs> like I practically had that acid bath already. It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means, you've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. But I've been a good boy. No! Then when will we? Less than a minute left before we're knocked out. That means... So you're saying we won't even know until we're already melted into goo? At which point you won't know anyway because you're, as you said, goo. <sighs> God damn it, Zero. Aren't you just an asshole? Right, now that I've done that, there uh, in theory. Hey, look. Red box that I think I can open now. I think that's new. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, everyone looking at their box seems to be new. Or at least I, th I think it's new. I think. Um, you know what? We'll just go with these people looking at the box now. Yeah, this is a straight line. Okay. So this is everything that's down the left-hand side. Force quit. Q. Oh yeah, the, the boxes were called force quit boxes, weren't they? Hey! Please continue enjoying the decision. Virtue's true reward! They're just messing with us. Well, this is good though. Now we know no one's died so far. So far? You make it sound like somebody will die at some point. Isn't that obvious? We're all human. We're gonna die of old age. Oh, come on. There's no way I'm dying of old age here. Um, you might want to oh, rethink that. But I guess the vote at 1330 went really well. Sounds like everyone spread the votes out. Wait, forget that for now. Look at your bracelets. Time is it? Zero, 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 three? Not exactly a happy new year kind of mood, is it? I mean, yeah, you're alive. There's nothing to be happy about. There is. The death count is zero. That's plenty to be happy over. <laughs> that being said, how about a celebratory shot? Wait, when did the dog get here? Do you need to rub it in? Oh, that's right. You're still a minor. Also, it's not what I meant oh, at all. Also, huh? I was say his head. I was gonna say also the helmet. He's got a giant metal orb on his head. Remember? Oh, that thing. I haven't eaten in well, weeks. Don't you have some sort of mouth part to open? No. Of course I don't. Oh, okay. If it opened, it would have done that a long... It's open. Huh? 
Look, the box. The force quit box. <sighs> Let's check it out. Bear in mind they could pick theirs up and shake Why it. Why is it open? Or a Sigmund Phi what's up couldn't. With this weird device. Huh, something's displayed on the monitor here. It says to execute the force quit program, the central control computer must be booted. Central control computer? What if maybe it's Hey! Where are you going? Uh... <laughs> that dog's just gonna sit and stare at us, isn't it? I've got the name of the the name of the dog. I know it's the most important character so Where far. Where are we? This is the quantum room. The map says we're in the quantum computer dome. The computers in here govern all the functions that run within the shelter. Why do you know that? I can't really tell you why, because I don't know. What? Anyway, I think they mean this when they say central control computer. So, what about that thing? Wait, I feel like I'm remembering something. I'm not! I know. Know what? The way you start up the system. First, we need to get the cover off. There's no way we can insert the plug if we don't. The plug? Please, just shh. Shut the fuck up, I'm working. The number is... Yeah, I don't know this number. So... I'm assuming got to do like... One of the other... I said, I don't know this, but... What was it? So I've got to find it in a later come timeline on. and come back. Okay. I'm guessing, like, everyone's gonna have a thing like that. Uh, I wanted to do... I legit couldn't remember her name for a minute then. Diana. I wanted to do Diana's. <laughs> I I nearly remembered it as Discount Luna, and I'm like, that's not her fucking name. <laughs> Even if she reminds me of Luna so much. See, I'm looking at these, but I'm, a, I'm a gonna assume that they aren't working. Hey. I know I keep celebrating, but Hey, excuse me, but uh could we maybe call a cab? We have a lost child here. <clears throat> Who are you talking about? Well, best to get her home soon. Her mother must be worried. And you know better than anyone that I don't have one. Good god. <gasps> zero, 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 three? <sighs> We're in the new year now? So it's no longer 2028, but... 2029. January 1st, 2029. Is that when? Our memories end after we voted at 1330. <sighs> now we're stuck with a 10-hour blank gap. But were we really asleep that whole time? We might have woken up several times since then, but we've only forgotten about it. Because of the drugs. No, I'm pretty sure the only thing that's happened in this timeline is the, the shower thing. Hey, look. The box. The box? The force quit box. Why is it open? No idea. There's text displayed on the monitor. Force quit program on standby. 
To initiate, two key items must be set. <laughs> How about that? Wait, I think there is more to the message. Each is a mother's memento. A mother's memento? Diana, does any of that ring a bell for you? <laughs> no! Diana? Hey, what's wrong? My head! My head! No! That can't be! What is it? Did you remember something? But... If that's true... Then... The key items we need to insert are... Again, I don't have this information! Although I'm guessing it's like... A circle one and the. Uh... I can tell this game was clearly designed for PC at this point, I'm starting to think. But yeah, I don't have this answer right now. I'm trying to think what the, sh the two shapes are. Uh, I, I wonder why I. What's the matter? I thought I remembered. And it slipped through my fingers. Ugh, can't believe it. Mementos Wait. of mother. I know I can get it. Let me try again. So I have to come back to this timeline once I understand the things. And I'm assuming Carlos's is the same. I'm just going to watch it just so I know what I'm looking for. Although, in this picture, theirs isn't even fucking open, so... Enjoy my ass. <clears throat> well, at least everything went well. We now know that Q team and D team are safe. Yes, but do we care? Oh, so the votes were balanced. You mean from back at 1330? I'm pretty sure that's the moment. No, because so this takes place after the now? shower thing, so. Uh, zero, 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 0003. Does that mean we're in the new year? It does indeed. The time on this watch is right. I guess so. Whoa, 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 but wait. What if time ended up going in reverse? What are you talking about, Junpei? <laughs> I, um, I just thought that maybe that was the case. Fuck so, you, Junpei. Uh, what do we do now? This is becoming a regular thing. <laughs> Wanna play hoops? There aren't any balls. We can use Gab. <laughs> Junpei, you're really... Then how about that box? See, everyone else's was open. Ours isn't, I don't think. Seriously, what the hell is this thing? A force quit box. I know that. I'm asking what exactly it's going to end. Whatever it is, we can't do anything unless we have the password. Hmm, a password. Huh. What is it, Carlos? I feel like... Uh, I can almost remember. What? Uh, the password to open this box. How do you know... Just shut up for a second. I think the password has to be... Yeah, again, I've no idea. So... I'm looking for the password to open oh. this box. Ah, uh, damn it. It's right there on the tip of my tongue. Okay, now I know what I'm looking for in three scenarios. So, uh, I did an escape room last time as... Actually, I want to look at my flow. Just to make sure that... 
Nope, these aren't even fucking marked on the thing. Okay, that's good to know, even though I'm 90% sure they all go down here. Uh, then again, like, some of them might be over here, so what do I know? Yeah, I can't believe they didn't even mark them on my thing. Damn, what assholes. Uh, Q-Team! Uh, if I play through one of these scenarios, I'm pretty sure it's the case that it's either, like, um... Either D team or C team are dead. So let's pick this one. What the fuck does that branch do? Radicals? Oh, good. Good. We're here again. Huh? Why? Are you ready for time to break? No, it won't even budge. I say that's a cushion with a pig in the dotted line. Solution with oh, a pig. It's okay, Mira. I'm right here with you. <clears throat> Mira couldn't give less of a fuck. We're in the bio lab, right? So there's a bunch of biological research here. Jeez, this place is really creepy. Why is something like this in a bomb shelter? Maybe the builders thought to be prepared for some kind of pandemic. Oh, gee, I wonder what pandemic. disease. An infectious disease that hits on a global scale. It's like a sudden deadly virus outbreak. You seem to know a lot. Maybe this place is an isolated location for researching all kinds of viruses like that. Oh, okay. Or maybe Zero put it here in order to do something to us. Like what? Like maybe taking the ingredients and cooking all of us a nice meal. Ugh. Um, but isn't it uh, too early for dinner? It's been four and a half hours since we fell asleep in the lounge. I was gonna say half six four is normally about hours. when I eat. Don't know what you're on about. Knocked us out for quite a while. No, not necessarily. We could have woken up a bunch of times during all that. But if Zero erased our memories? Of course, we wouldn't remember. No. What's this? Slash, Slash the, the pig's stomach. Oh, that's a... Whoa, for real? Would that mean that we... Probably. <laughs> Why? Get me a knife! Why do we have to do something like that? I have no idea, but it's not like we really have a choice, do we? There's no way to leave. We're just gonna have to do what he said. <laughs> Come on, you big bitch, stop. <laughs> Seek a way out. <laughs> okay, so I am surprisingly tall for Q. <laughs> uh, jokes about camera angles aside, uh, things. Uh, I don't know what voice to give Q, so, um... Yeah, I'll just give him, like, a kind of higher voice, because he's a young kid. There's a sink. Oh, and some caster wheels at the bottom. Maybe we can move it. We can try. <laughs> it's not moving an inch. Uh, damn, I think it's locked in place. You sure? You don't want fucking Mira to try? Because I'm pretty sure she's stronger than you. Which is a fact I'd believe. Uh, piece of paper. Let's see. Set the dial to A to mix the liquid. Set the dial to B to separate the liquid. This must be the manual for the centrifuge. Nice, okay. A to mix, B to... Place two test tubes with liquid into the machine. Centrifuge will mix them and output the mixture into one beaker. Okay. Mm, good to know. Uh, can I? Okay, I can. Possibly. Global. Where am I? If I if I had to guess, where am I? I don't know. Oh, I think I'm I think I'm over this one because this was like the branch and then the other one. Okay, good to know. Nope. Shit, I forgot. <laughs> this is when I forget all of my controls. There sure are a lot of tools. I wonder what they're for. I don't think it is anything useful. Let's. I don't. I don't know what voice to give Mira. Considering we're gonna have very few like female voices. 
Let's leave it alone then. Who knows what would happen if we moved them? Yeah, it sort of works. Give it a bit more of a, a... I don't know what this is. Hey, can we take this cover off? With my strength, I can't. Damn, I feel so pathetic. At least he's aware of the fact. I hadn't been counting on you anyway. We need to think of another way to open it. Okay, so I need uh, a thing to unscrew it. Gimme! What? You know what? That works. No, that doesn't because it's the same voice as thingy. Why is... Why is this one piece of the model red? It fell out and I barely touched it, I swear. Did I break it? Maybe we can use it for something. Let's take it. Piece of DNA. Um, it's got... Uh, what's the name of that shit? What's the one with seven sides? I was gonna say a pent... No, not a pent. Hexagon. Heptagon. That's the one. With the heptagon on it. Notes! These look like a researcher's notes. They must have been doing research on cells. I know. It's telling us to look at the cells in the microscope. Careful examination of the green and pink liquids reveals two different cell structures. Separate the liquids. Separating the liquids results in different colors. One thing is clear after inspecting the separate liquids under the microscope. The cell structure is unique for each color. Oh, I need I need to actually like put something there. Right. Uh this thing's knackered, what is it? One of the things open. Four buttons, each a different colour. This might be You think if we got the combination right, this thing would open? I think so too. Let's try it. I don't know what that's I just don't have enough information for that. Okay, specimen jar. We got a root, a seahorse, a butterfly, and a penguin. There's a penguin in here. It's so sad there in a specimen jar. Really? It's dead, so it doesn't really matter. This is a butterfly specimen. Hey, that's weird. I can't move it. Looks like it's... It looks like this is the only one locked in place. What could that mean? This is a seahorse specimen. What is a seahorse anyway? Kind of shrimp? Or starfish? Snake? They're a type of fish. It's hard to tell, but they do have gills. It's a specimen of some kind of plant. Maybe it's an experimental plant that can live in a polluted world. Sounds like a setup for a man-eating flower for a bee movie to me. Huh? Just this spot does, doesn't seem to have a specimen. Either, not, either nothing was here in the first place, or what goes here was moved somewhere. Do we see any other specimen cylinders in this room? Uh, I haven't looked yet, so I don't know. Um, I got green and pink liquids. What are you? Hmm, I don't think there's any point of putting that in there. Okay, oh. so I have to put something in there to microwave it. Some suspicious liquid. Won't mi explode if we mix it, will it? Oh, oh, like the mad scientists do, right? Well, that's an old-fashioned reference. Green liquid! Pink liquid! This is a clean bench. It's for preventing contamination on samples while working. What kind of contamination? Substances like microorganisms, bacteria, things that shouldn't get mixed in samples. I see! You really know your stuff. Yeah, it's a bit weird, ain't it? I'm not questioning the kid, though. Things! I think this is an analyzer, but it doesn't look like the power's on. I don't even think a power cord's connected. Then I doubt we can turn it on as it is now. A machine. Nope, never mind. There's the pig. Now we have to slice. So, um... Nope. Oh, no. Items. Cannot combine the two. Okay. I think I know what I need to do. Nope. Controls are still difficult. This piece from the model. Is that the same shape as the screws? I think we can unscrew with this. Called it. Yes, the cover's off. 
So I got cover for the centrifuge. It says in the manual this is a centrifuge and it mixes separate liquids. You put two test tubes in the mix and only a beaker to separate the contents. So I need test tubes by the sound of it. Oh, I can put the... I. I, uh, I, I, I fucking microwaved the cover and uh, a thing happened. Orange, blue, and white. Okay. Well, I still need test tubes, I think. Oh, there's a knife here that I couldn't find before. Okay. There's a sink on this thing. Hey, look, I found this in here. That knife looks pretty sharp. Maybe we can use it to cut open the pig's stomach. Okay, well, I got a kniffy. I still think the pig is the one. But the big question is, how do we get it out? This is it. Time to prove I'm a man. Yeah. Oh, my hand. Oh, he tried to punch it. Wait, not even a crack? What the hell are you... Oh, okay, so I just have to put the liquids in just to separate them anyway. So I got blue and yellow. Okay. So now if I do the same with you. And they separate out into red and white. Okay, now what I need to do is put this one and this one in to make orange. Okay, so I've got the orange, blue, and white now. Um... <laughs> oh, hold on. I've had an idea. Uh, I've gone past my knife. Slice! Okay, file on Fanatic Bio R. The incubation period for this virus is extremely short. Mod... Morality rate is 100%. Symptoms include blood erupting from the body, then death. I don't remember blood erupting from the body. I remember suicide, and that's a, a lot of that. A microscope lens. Power cord. What's this paper? Fanatic Bio R? Never heard of it. Right, so you... Need... No, I've gone fucking past it, shit. Ah, God! There. I... I think we can use this now. Okay. Let's look at something in the microscope. Okay. The cells in the blue liquid attached together in twos. The orange ones are separate. Um, it's too fuzzy to see. Well, the white cells are together by themselves. So if I unequip the thing, go over here take this off can I can I take this off well in the meantime this thing needed the power cable or something didn't it oh the power turned on but we can't use it yet looks like it's on standby mode right now the cover over there opened up could that be maybe inserting something into this hole will let us use it are you holding anything that could fit in there? I am! Huh. I think this knife will fit in the hole. Let's see. Hey, it fits perfectly. Yes, the analyzer's on. Can't believe using a knife or a lever actually worked. Me neither. And if we take the knife out, we can still use it. Oops. The blade broke off inside. And now it's as useless as a, now it's useless as a knife. 
Idiot! Look what you did. Damn it! I'm gonna cut open the pig now. I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pull so hard. Ah, uh, damn it! It's all over! So it's gonna kill us all now! What's done is done. The analyzer's still on, at least. We'll find another way. Okay, so... This thing will analyze the liquids, right? Yep. It'll show the results if you put three dishes of liquid in it. So let's do this and see what happens. So, orange first. Let's put this liquid in first. Then blue. Then white. Oh, that's not what I expected. That's not what I expected at all. Yay, we did it! No matter how bad the situation is, solving a problem always cheers you up. Oh, there's something in there. It's a fetus! <laughs> a specimen cylinder. Looks like there's a human fetus inside. Fetus? A fetus? What's wrong? Why are you always turning your head away like that? Gee, I wonder. And maybe it's because of the fucking fetus in the jar. Ugh. Oh, hello, thing. Uh. What are these symbols? Five symbols with five colors. All different. It could be a hint. So, yellow, pink. Okay. So, if I put fetus over here. Yay, perfect fit. But nothing's happening. Maybe the positions are wrong? Oh, okay, I need to, uh, I need to go over here, I feel like, and look at... So it was, uh, bird goes over here, and human goes at the end. Uh, fish, and... Can I not, I can't move the bug. See, the one that's annoying me is I can't shift the bug anywhere. I've just gone back to try and look at this and I'm not, like, entirely sure. Do I have to separate orange out again and then look at it in the thing? If I separate orange out into yellow and red, can I then look at it in the thing? Can I now look at you in this? I can, yeah. Three. Five. No, wait, yellow was five. Red was three. Blue were in twos, and white were alone? Oh, good! I actually did a thing. Yay, it unlocked! That's His voice has fucking changed. Yay, it unlocked. Good job. You're pretty amazing for a kid your age. Uh, I won't lose next time. Are you open now? You do. What's this box? Huh. Transparent specimens. I think we could fit all these in the box. Let's find out. Uh, okay. It's, um, it's a puzzle. Red, ma red X matches up with the blue one. Right, okay. So, each piece can be rotated. Okay, I have to not hold on to them and do it. Well... Uh, this is more fun than the other one. I'll give it credit. I'll give it credit for that. I mean, this seems to be going super well so far, but I'm just waiting for it to not work. Never mind. I've actually done it. This didn't take me like next. This took me next to no time at all. I played too many Professor Layton games. Hey, capsules. What do we need these for? Are we supposed to take them? I don't really like capsule pills. They have to be cherry flavored. Eric, you still aren't taking a child's cough syrup, are you? You got drugs! Yay, I guess. If we mix them with something, they'll give us a clue. I'm gonna mix myself up an orange thing, just my orange back, just to make sure. No, I don't need white. Hold on! Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I, I see a thing. I need them to stop rotating. So, R is 
So, the pills have been popped out in the, like, in number shapes. So, the red pills there look like they're in the shape of a five. The blue ones are in the shape of a three. The pink ones are in the shape of a two. And the yellow? I'm going to call that yellow. Yellow ones are in the shape of a one, which means the one not there is four. Now, if I go to this, uh, yellow is bird, if I remember correctly. Two is fish. Three is blue, which is human. And red is plant. So that's the order I need to arrange the specimen jars. Oh boy, what a, what a fucking puzzle and a half. So, bird... Fish, human, and the one remaining without the pills was the was the bug. There we go. Oh, I see. That's how it goes. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I knew it too, of course. I noticed it before. Hey, don't ignore me. Some kind of machine is coming out. A fingerprint authentication device? We have to prove our identities now? What if the exit opens if we do it? Let's just try it out. Ow, that hurt. What the... I thought I would... I thought it was just a phone and a fingerprint. What is this? Was this some kind of trap? Damn it, I'm bleeding. That hurt. Huh? What's that sound? Maybe that means we passed the authentication? Oh, we've just been infected with the disease. Hey, look over there. The light by the sink turned on. I feel like I've just gotten a disease. You pricked me and now I've got my thing. Green light turned on. It's supposed to be this power. Did anything change? Well, let's see. This thing... It can move? Okay, so I just wanted to There's a thing in the wall. I want to look at Okay, I guess not I can move this probably as well There are wheels on it, but it's locked in place What it's stuck again I think I had a click from when it stopped Look now the light on the other equipment there turn on so that means it, that one can be moved to- I tried- no, I had to do things in order. Oh, now it's red. What? Now the light's red. Did I do something wrong? Watch out! Get away from there! Oh, the pig exploded. Hi, pig. Here we go. Ah, this thing's heavy. It smells disgusting. Quit whining and move it. Didn't you want to prove you were a man? You can do it, Eric. I got a pig in formaldehyde. Yay! You gotta be kidding me. Super hard glass is shattered into pieces. Didn't seem like it'd break very easily. Maybe the glass was designed to really break easy from the inside. So, the pig is in place now, but how have we cut it open? Thanks to someone, the knife is broken. I moved the thing, so I'm not touching it again. But you just chill, Eric. What? Maybe I should give it the clover voice. Do you just chill, Eric? Let's just look for something to replace the knife. What? Give me, give me the glass shards. That'd work. Huh? There's a drawer here. This is a scalpel. We could probably use that. Let's just take it with us. Okay, here we go. That wasn't difficult at all. Time to slice open the pig. Pig's all set. Now I have the scalpel. Where do I start cutting? Oh, for crying out! Here, give me the scalpel. There's a trick to it. Wow, it's so clean. Do you own a family on a farm, Mira? 
Eh, something like that. Now let's see what's inside the thing. I don't like this. I don't like the slow pan into the, into the pig's innards. Zero. Seventeen years ago, a woman died. Her chest carved open with a sharp object, just like that pig there. What difference? That woman was alive. Her heart was still beating. The male suspect was quickly caught. He must have planned to escape the attack scene, as he called one before his capture. The police arrested him before he was able to utilize the waiting vehicle to flee the scene. Instead, the genius surgeon fled inside. He was heading to the hospital. A seriously ill patient awaiting his arrival for life-saving treatment. However, the taxi got into an accident before reaching its destination. It collided with a large truck. The resulting wreck was horrendous. Sadly, as a result of this accident, the driver and surgeon died, as well as the young boy waiting for surgery. Life is truly unfair. Don't you think? What is the point of him telling us this story? Hmm. It's just some kind of act, right? Probably doesn't mean anything. I'm not sure. No, then. Let's begin our game, shall Let's begin the actual game, the bitches. The as follows. The pig's stomach you cut open contained three syringes. Each of them is filled with a specific virus called Radical 6. Radical 6? Uh, it's not good. This virus is... It awakens a desire to kill oneself, among other things. Once infected, symptoms appear as early as 10 minutes, or take up to two hours. And the host soon finds the urge to commit suicide irresistible. <laughs> the mortality rate is 75%. I thought it was 100. Transmitted through liquids, it's highly contagious. Oh yes. I believe you located a set of documents during your search of this room. A set of files on FBR, the fanatic file R virus. The mortality rate of this virus is 100%. Infection results in blood erupting from your body. That death. An antagonistic relationship exists between Radical 6 and FBR. If you were to be infected by Radical 6, it would be cancelled out with the addition of FBR, and you are unaffected. Conversely, injecting Radical 6 into you after becoming infected with FBR will cause them to destroy each other and leave no adverse effects on you. So, a single virus is toxic, but using the other as a vaccination provides an antidote. What is he talking about? I would about? call bullshit, but at this point, I'd if believe him. that you would all choose to inject Radical 6 at this moment, I would have made sure to coat FBR on the fingerprint authentication device for you. Meaning, you'd already be infected with the fanatic bio R virus. That device over there? Oh yeah, it pricked oh, us! I do remember feeling something when I touched it. Like, a prick. So we were all stabbed by a poison needle? On the other hand, if I saw that you were not going to inject yourselves with radical sex, then I would be sure to leave the needle with you. That way, you would not become infected with fanatic bioarm. Wait, what? What do you say? So he's basically like I'll say it once more. We don't know. If all of you plan to inject yourselves with radical sex, you already have FAO. If you are not going to eject yourselves, then you are not infected right now. Which means, in either case, you being saved is a foregone conclusion. There's no reason for you to worry about the situation. What will you do now? So the long story of this is, he do, we don't know if 
zero infected us with the other virus or not. So the choice is we either inject ourselves with Bionicle 6 or don't and suffer the consequences. So wait, do we even need to choose? Huh? If what Zero told us is the truth, then the outcome will be the same. If we inject ourselves with this Radical 6, we're already infected with FBR. So they destroy each other and we're fine. And if we don't do it, that just means we weren't infected with FBR in the first place. But what if it's a lie? Huh? He's saying what if he's lying about being psychic? Well, if you think about it, the likelihood that he's lying is incredibly high. So then, what do we do? What the hell do we do? I'm the leader. I have to make the fucking decisions. There are no half measures here. Where's, where's the choice where it's like, uh, stab one of us? Um, well, this is actually a fucking meaningful choice, isn't it? You know what? I like to live dangerously. <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible idea. Let's do it. Fuck it. Why? Care to share your reason? After everything, the issue isn't if Zero can see the future or if he's lying. It's just like Eric said. If Zero does have that power, then it's the same either way. That means all we need to do is think about what happens if he doesn't. Our fate can go four different ways if that's the situation. If we are infected with FBR and we inject ourselves with Radical 6, or not. If we aren't infected with FBR and we inject ourselves with Radical 6, or not. The important thing we need to remember, though, is the mortality rates. Zero said the casualty rate is 75% for the Radical 6 virus. And we saw in the files that death is 100% confirmed for Fnatic Bio-R. So we can use that to determine. If, if nothing else, the survival rate is better for Radical 6. It's clear which option is best, right? I see. The probability that we're infected with FBR is 2 to 1. Which means if we inject Radical 6, our survival rate is half of 125, 62.5%. And if we don't inject it, then our chance is sitting at 50%. Any objections? So actually then picking the Radical 6 actually increases my survival chance. I didn't even think about it that way. Okay. I just fucking Here went we for go. it. Ready, and... And we're out like a light! So are we good? Did we do the right thing? No idea! The lab door opened afterwards, so we must have. Do you feel any different? Nope. No, not really. I guess. <laughs> I don't like. Hey, I don't like that vacant face. I've thought this before, but well, your laugh is kind of strange. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I guess this is, well, sort of a bad habit I've had since I was a kid. What do you mean? Issues at home, I guess. Was your family difficult? That's just it. We were completely normal. A kind mom, a clumsy dad, and an annoying little brother. Oh, story time. <laughs> oh, dear. What's wrong? Uh, I'm not sure. They've just been crying. Hey, you two. Mind telling mommy why you're crying? Chris broke my toy! No! It was your fault, Eric! Chris, Eric, listen to me, okay? When painful or sad things happen, 
People get angry or cry because of them. But even at those times, I want you to never forget to smile. Smile? Yes, smile. No matter how painful things get, as long as you can face it with a smile, happiness will come I get what they're trying to say, but this face is just fucking terrifying. <laughs> Really? Yeah, and it just makes me really. laugh as well at and the same time. A smile can make everyone all around you happy too. <gasps> you too, mommy? You'll be happy too? <laughs> of course. So why don't you two stop fighting and show mommy your smile? Okay. Yeah! <laughs> you sure are something else. Hey, <laughs> what about me? Can Daddy get some smiles, too? Oh, dear. It looks like Daddy's lonely, you I feel like I recognize the person they got to do the dad's voice. Okay. I had a horrible moment and, like, he sounds a bit like Zigbar. You've gotten big. And Zigbar is not a father figure I want. Okay. Okay. Come at me. I'm ready. I don't think it is, actually, but... But still, that's just, a, that's just quite the image. Zigbar is a dad. Mom always told us to never forget to smile. She'd never hurt a bug. Not even if a line of ants crossed her path. She was that kind and gentle. She was incredible. And when we lost her, that's when Dad changed. Shut the hell up! Who said you could fucking cry? Chris! Oh, Jesus, Eric! Can't you even look after your shitty little brother? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Forgive me! Please forgive me! God! Hey, go find someone to get me beer. Don't cry. Don't get mad. You better always smile. Was what Dad liked to say. But unlike Mom, he was never not angry with us. Eventually, I figured out how to smile, regardless of what was going on. Just smiling day in and day out. No fun. Not happy. I'd be made fun of, or yelled at. And no matter the pain, no matter how bad it was, I never raised my voice. I just kept smiling. I didn't stop, even after Dad fell ill and died. I just kind of snapped. So I guess the two smiles, one taught by my mom, and one forced by my dad, got kind of mixed up, and the result is what I pasted on my face. Eric, she's... I've never talked to anyone about all of this before, but... Mira, will you still love me, even with me being like this? How dumb can you get? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't even have to ask, did I? Eric? Thanks for sharing that. It wasn't like I did it for you or anything. It just sort of came out, that's all. Yeah, still, thanks. To tell the truth, I just didn't want to end up like my father. So I forced my mouth to keep smiling through everything. But it's no use. The worst part of me still came to the front after we got trapped here. I pushed all of that on you too. Don't worry about it. I'm all right. <laughs> okay. So you never mentioned you had a younger brother. Yeah. About your age, more or less. What? We're the same age? Oh, maybe we could be friends. Would it be okay if I met him after we get out? What if I am him? Um, well. Or is he dead as well? Uh, anyway, sorry I turned the mood dark. 
<laughs> you turn the mood. Oh, your jokes always crack me up, Eric. Huh? The situation's Can't always been dark. That was dark. You really have a sense for these things. And don't worry, listening to it was a lot of fun. Wait a minute. What makes you think that was all a joke? Uh-huh. It was such a sad story. He just told us he's been holding in this painful past the whole time. How is that a joke? Oh, <laughs> I just didn't think <laughs> to make a mistake like that. A mistake? I'm so sorry. I've always been clumsy. It's at times like these that I, I don't even know how to look, you know? Clumsy? Hey, Eric. Can you tell me? <laughs> Mira. Um, Ooh. Mira? Mira? Why did you... Oh. Zero, I'd quite <laughs> like that drug now, please. Thank you. Well, what's wrong with you, Mira? Oh, Radical Six! Stop. Duh! Well, this isn't good, is it? No! <laughs> Either that or Mira's just fucking evil. Which, uh, you know, I'm starting to believe. I mean, I would know, depending on what happens afterwards, but I guess I'm dead, so I won't. Oh, okay, we're just going with that then. Uh, is that a bad end? That's not even a bad end! I fucking get Oh, no, wait, there's uh, everything else to go on afterwards. Eh, it looks like it could be a bad end. Either way, nothing good comes of this situation looking at it. So there's, like, another situation down here afterwards for the other two teams. Well, that's... interesting, I guess. She said he made a mistake. I'm trying to think about what he said that's a mistake. He said he made a mistake. Oh, that's gonna fucking wind me up or something fierce. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here while I dwell on this fact. So, I think I'm gonna record one more for in this time period. Well, I'm, as I record this, but that's by the by. So, if you want to leave me any feedback or any hints, just keep that in mind. Anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Zero Time Dilemma. If you like the video in any capacity, give the video a like down below. Leave a comment on, as I say, if you want to give me hints, you can. Just bear in mind that I am going to record another video, and I'm probably going to do a, an escape room with Diana. Although, which one? No idea. Um... Other than that, if you want to keep up to date with whenever I post more videos, you can eat, you can subscribe to the channel. In theory, YouTube sends you alerts to when I post the videos. It's a very big in theory though, isn't it? Anyway, thank you all for watching. I've been Nyx, and I will see you guys next time. Laters!